If that's not art, I don't know what the hell is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>Dre here and today I'm hopefully gonna be a master of pottery because we're checking out another pottery making simulator and yes, it's called Master Pottery. So yes, you guys really liked it when I checked out Dogagi, which is another pottery making game. If you didn't check that out, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, but yeah, that was VR. This is not VR and it's more of like a a showroom management game this one so it's a little bit different uh, but yeah we're still making pottery for our showroom and hopefully it goes well because well I have to get people inside my showroom so we can make some money and buy some upgrades so we're gonna start out a new game here and yes we are indeed gonna have a new beginning now what is my pottery making name all right, it's just gonna be Potty Dre. Never mind. That's the ma that's really the max amount of characters. What if you have a long name? All right, I'm I, I, I'm Potty D. That's also gonna be my rap name, by the way, if I ever start out my rap career. So yeah, there we go. Got a little bit of a cutscene at the start. These games are just so peaceful. There's something about pottery making that is. I mean, look at this. I'm already relaxed. I'm ready to make my own pottery, and it's probably not gonna look much better than what's on the wheel right now. Potty D, my friend. I have to go out to participate in some activities. It may take a long time to come back. I left this place for you. I hope you can manage it better. All right, Mason. You're kind of vague on how long you're going to be, though. Is it like five hours, five years? I have no idea, but I guess I have the pottery studio now. Okay, well, I, I know what throwing is, so it looks like in this game, uh, obviously we're going to be using the mouse wheel, so it's probably not going to be anything like the VR experience. Uh, but yes, basically we have to make a pot out of this m lump of clay right now. Ooh, how am I gonna smooth this? Okay, so we expand by dragging, simple enough. Nice work, thank you. Is that, slowly make the clay mud evenly, evenly symmetrical and press the firing. Okay, so this is gonna be our first pot. We're, we're, we're not gonna go crazy with this first one, but we do have different types of, I guess, cuts you could make. I don't know what they're called. Okay, we're just gonna widen that out. Nice work. Okay, well, I guess it's happy with this, so let's just start off at the bare minimum, you know? Th this is gonna be my first pot. I gotta assume I can do better than this, so it's all uphill from here, at least hopefully. So we're gonna fire this thing up, and, uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to make the pots in this game. Okay, so we gotta actually, there's actually the firing in this game, and we do have to get a good score. Or we're gonna burn our pot, ma make it raw. I mean, I don't know what happens if you overcook or undercook a pot. But I don't want it to happen, damn it. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going here. And it looks like this is a rather simple mini game where we just have to keep this thing. It does move, so I gotta constantly keep it in the middle. But it's pretty simple to do it. We're getting a damn perfect score, or at least close to it. It looks like we did screw up the first one a little bit. Oh, damn it, we're not done yet? Well, there we go. Let's start glazing and painting. All right. All right, so what do I want to do with this ugly saucer-like thing? I'm gonna use the rose red, and we're just gonna paint this ball. Oh, man, okay, I, I need to actually fade this. All right, we're getting somewhere here. This tutorial's really rushing me. Let, let me en enjoy my first ugly pottery, damn it. Uh, so, yeah, definitely, from what I see so far, I'm gonna compare this a lot to Dogagi. By the way, if you haven't checked that out, I'll have a link in the description. But it's a lot easier, which is nice, because Dogagi is, like, next level. This is, this is a nice, relaxing experience. So, this thing is extremely ugly. I am not thinking that this is any anything nice at all. Maybe we'll get some people coming into our place with just this. All right, I'm done with that. Um, press and hold center, what? You're going too quick. All right, so it wants me to fire it. I kinda wanna put a pattern on first, hold on. Yeah, okay, so, oh yes, the patterns are gonna be fun in this game because it's very easy to use. This is so ugly. <laughs> I, I hate my first piece of pottery already. Let's just get rid of it and see if anybody will come to my showroom with this piece of crap. Okay, well, there we go. Firing it again. Oh, I guess I don't have to do the game once again. Well, we got a craft score of 4.9. Well, that's only a rank of C. Okay, I thought it was out of 5. Maybe it was out of 10. I have no idea. Give the work a name. What the hell do we name this ugly thing? We're going to call it the mushroom because... Oh, my God. Really? Every time I try and do something in this game, I need one more letter. Um, all right, well, we're gonna call it Mushroom then. Uh, so yeah, you, you have to keep your name short in this game. We're gonna complete that though. And 
Can I have that piece? Can you just give me one nice piece so we can get some people in? All right, well, here is our showroom, ladies and gentlemen, and we're... <laughs> this should not be on a, a pedestal. <laughs> this should be in the trash in the corner, but there we go. I'm pretty happy, so let's go to exhibition day. And yeah, we have remaining inspiration of zero, so we can't do anything else. Let's see, we have two tourists in so far. Please, God, be more than two. Okay, three came. At least three is a crowd. Oh, it, it has stopped at seven. Okay, I literally have a small crowd. There we go, we got the eight, baby. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. Imagine having a gallery, your grand opening day, eight people come to see your stupid little mushroom. Well, we got 80 bucks. The showroom heat. I guess that means how many people are there at a given time, or is that just all the visitors that come? I don't know. We'll find out later. But yeah, booth one increased from zero to eight, so it's all uphill from here. That's great. Let's go on to our next work day and uh, try and make something a little bit better than that, because that was awful. That was, I, I mean, let's just let's just avoid that one. Let's pretend that didn't happen, and now we're gonna make some truly nice stuff. All right, and we got a bunch of money, so Mason just wants to support me and my eight re residents that came to my first showroom. So we got some money. Let's go to the store real quick and see what we can buy. So there is a level system in this game, and I think the, the higher the, the le level you get, the more stuff you get. Um, but obviously, I'd like to get some decent patterns right now. So I kind of like the tribal fish. That's cool. This Chinese will actually be good because I know what I'm going to try and do in this game. So we're going to buy the Chinese right now. How much money do I got? Still have 2,500. I do want pure black, so we're going to buy that. Pigments are at least quite cheap. Let's buy some fresh green because it's fresh. Uh, glazes might be smart, too. We can buy a rough glaze. Oh, man, these things are expensive. And we can buy colored clay as well. Uh, I can't afford that right now, so maybe I'm, I'm overspending myself. Let's not go crazy yet. We haven't even really made any pottery. Let's just avoid the old mushroom, like I said. This time, I'm actually going to, uh, I basically, I googled, because I have no idea what goes into good pottery, but I googled the most expensive pieces of pottery ever. Obviously, most of them are extremely old, and that's probably why they're so expensive, but uh, they look pretty. So I'm going to try and build the Quain Long Vase, which is the most expensive vase ever sold, according to successstory.com, uh, for $53 million. So, if I, if I can get more than eight people in here, if I'm building that vase, that would be great. So, here's a picture of it. I think it's the one on the right. I'm going to try and build the one on the right anyways. And, uh, yeah, basically, it looks pretty... I shouldn't say it looks pretty simple, because, no, it's probably not simple. Okay, that looks like a good height to me. I have no idea how big this vase is. So, we're going to start bulging out the bottom, because that's kind of what it looks like. Um... Oh god, this is this is gonna be harder than it seems. Alright, let's go to the smaller jester. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um Alright, I think we're getting somewhere here. It's looking better. I'm it's still extremely lumpy, but I don't think I'm gonna fix that too much. Now the va or the bottom kind of flares out a bit, so we're gonna try and do Oh yes. Yes. I, I don't know why, but that made it look so much better. Um so I gotta make this kind of more round like. Uh I've been using the triangle tool. It's actually good for like small changes, but trying to get all these little lumps out. You would think, like, using something like this would do that, but it doesn't really, as you can see, when I max it out, it doesn't really get rid of the lumps. Maybe if I hold it for long enough, it will... Ooh, I didn't think about that. Holding it! That's the answer. Oh, yes, I'm learning. All right, you know what? I think I'm pretty damn happy with that. It's not perfect, but I think when we put the details on... I mean, it's not bad for my second creation. It's definitely a lot better than the old, than, than the first one. I don't even want to think about that thing anymore. So yeah, we're we're, we're gonna fire this thing, and oh god damn it! All right, come on, fire! There we go. We we need we need we need to do this well. I'm actually really focused on doing this right now. I never thought I'd be focused in a pottery making game, but there we go. I think we got a perfect score there. Please tell me. Oh, it's still like bumpy. How do I? I think that's that has to do with the glazing. So we'll deal with that later. Let me actually, because it's probably pretty unglazed, enamel glaze, smooth glaze. So, oh, yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, so that's looking pretty damn good. Oh, we can spin it? Look at that. There's still a few bumps in there, as you can see. I probably, if, if I would have worked on it a little longer, I could have got those out. But I kept ruining it when I tried to wor work on it too much. So, I got to say, that's pretty damn close. See, this is all you got to do, kids. Just copy famous pottery making, and then you'll earn millions. That's just... That's just how life works. So there we go. We got something like that. 
Um, I'm thinking that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Now, this needs to be blue. And we have a little bit of... Oh, that's not blue enough. What about sky? That's that's too blue. I, I, I need... That's about as good as we're going to get it. So we're going to use that. Now, there's all these other designs. I don't know how many of them we're going to be able to do. So we're going to have to kind of put our own take to these designs. Because we're still a very much a new character. And uh, we're not going to get all the cool designs until later. So I'm thinking... What is this? Oh, hey, maybe we can blend that in. All right, for the bottom, they have this crazy design. Again, we're going to stick with the triangles because at least it looks somewhat decent. I think, yeah, I'm happy with something. Let's put a little lip on the bottom like that. Should I make this bigger all the way? No, I'm going to put some more designs in there. So I'm liking that once we change the color, of course. Have to keep everything the same. This is actually kind of nice. I mean, maybe that overlapping was a bit much, but I'm just going to keep it at this point. All right, we need some detail on the top. So I'm going to do... Let's do... What, what does this look like? Okay, so no, that, that's what we already used. So, man, we really don't got many options here, guys. So I think I'm actually just going to do the line. Because uh, there was like a line of detail on the top. Maybe I can put a pattern over that line. Yeah, what, what, what about this over that? But then I'd have to have two colors. So no, that wouldn't make sense. Let's just get rid of that. I actually kind of like that other one that I just had. So we're going to do that up here. Right like that. Maybe make it a bit smaller so it's got more detail. I'm trying my best here, guys. I actually want to make a cool piece of pottery. Okay, that's looking good. So, again, color change. Fade a bit. And what else can we do? I really should, shouldn't should have tried to make the most expensive vase, vase when I didn't have many patterns. We probably should have waited till we had a bunch of them. Because uh, we're, we're only going to get more things after this. Hopefully this thing gets us a lot of money at least. Is it going to be worth the 50 million? 53 million, I should say. I doubt it, but hopefully we get more than eight people to our place now. We got a 5.0 and a B. I don't know how the hell you get an A in this game, but I'm assuming we just have to get better at maybe making these more smooth. I got to say, it's quite smooth, though, now that I'm seeing it with the gloss glaze. All right. We're going to name it exactly what it should be. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to put vase in there, so yeah. Um, now it should be worth 53 million, so there we go. And we better get some more people to our place now. Uh, we're going to add a booth. That costs 500 Hopefully it's worth it. Because I get a new vase here. And there we go. Look at the difference, man. <laughs> we have this one. And then we have this one. Clearly my, my skills have improved immensely since 10 minutes ago. All right, I noticed we could do some marketing. Um, of course, we're going to make a TV show. In cooperation with TV stations, the introduction of exhibition halls on TV programs will increase the number of visitors on the next, I'm assuming, visit. So, is it worth 1100 God damn it is, because we're going to be millionaires, guys. That's just how it works. So, um, hopefully that was worth it, because I, I am basically broke now. So, I really got to get some people in here today. All right, so here we go. Oh, please tell me. We got one so far. Oh, it's not going up. Oh, there we go. Got the new record already. That boosted up really quickly. Oh, my God. I'm actually getting people in here. Okay. Maybe I should just get rid of the mushroom. <laughs> I feel like they see that and they just walk away. But I gotta say, this one's not bad. 35? I don't think that's worth it. I spent, what, 1,100 just to get the marketing for this? So hopefully we at least earn that much money back. Oh, man. Okay, I definitely should have got shouldn't have got that TV show so early. We earned 380 bucks. So uh, yeah, not not even half of what I paid in marketing. Great. Make the world's most famous piece of pottery and get 38 people there. Yay. And for my next creation, I call this one the Steve. Can you guess why? Um yeah, this is <laughs> this is fantastic. So it doesn't look good from the side, but if you put it at the right angle, uh, definitely looks like good old Steve. Now, I don't have a skin color. This is actually just the color of the pottery. So I can't actually do that color again. So this is where it's going to look bad. Actually, I bought that jasmine yellow. That's close. Close enough for me. So obviously these are his arms. And what? Co I don't even know what color Steve's eyes are. I think they're blue, right? They're definitely not black. So let's go to white and then maybe do a little blue dot. Oh, wow. That's a really aggressive white. All right, it's not going to be perfect, but hey, that's art. And art's subjective, damn it. So uh, it looks good to me. Uh, all right, so there we go. Cherry Berry once again. 
just fade that down a bit. Unfortunately, these things stack a little bit, so it looks bad still. But hey, now the only thing we need is the actual pupils. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they're blue. So we're just going to duplicate this, make it a little smaller. Actually, that's as small as I can go. Damn it. Aw, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to be bothered if I can't get his eyes right. You know what? That's good enough for me. It's, it's not the perfect Steve, but it's as Steve as I'm going to get it, damn it. We'll just kind of make the pupils kind of out of the actual eyes. All right. If that's not art, I don't know what the hell is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I really hope I can place this on the podium the way I want it. All right, obviously we're going to name this guy Steve. How do you get an A? I just want one A, damn it. All right, do I just get rid of the mushroom or do I buy another one? That's the question. You know what? I kind of like seeing our, our progression. So yeah, we're going to add one more booth here. Oh, damn it. They, uh, never mind. It goes up by 500 every booth, of course. So I have no choice but to get rid of the mushroom now. Well, Steve, there we go. And thank God, can I can I rotate him? This is me panning. No, I want, I want to rotate Steve. Oh, is this what this... Okay, that's what this is. Yes! Now, let me just make sure... That's as, as, about as good as I'm going to get it. We can technically make one more, but I can't afford an, another podium. So, let's just try this. And hopefully, Steve brings in a few more. We're not advertising today, obviously. So, we'll see what happens here. I think our max is, what, 38? It's looking good! Clearly people like Steve! Yes! Okay, I am officially becoming a pottery master. And by pottery master, I have like a, a decent group of people looking at my stuff. <laughs> I seriously thought we'd get more than this, but hey, if we can get 60, damn it, we didn't even get 60. We got 59. Couldn't just give me one more. I mean, at least still, we're earning 590 a day. And the showroom heat was 53, so that must be how many people are on the floor at the max amount. Just out of curiosity, what happens if we just, like, keep going to exhibition day? I mean, I understand I'm supposed to level up, but what's stopping me from doing this to earn a crap load of money? It uh, doesn't look like anything. And clearly, Steve's been getting some uh, press because now, I mean, maybe we could just keep going with this. <laughs> okay. Well, there, there, we just passed 100. Clearly, this strategy is working because I also upped the ticket price to the max. It can be at 20. And we just had a new world record. What are they coming for? Are they coming for Steve? It looks like it's a mixture, actually. Steve is slowly catching up to the actual pottery, which is damn impressive. And look at that. Now we're, now we're earning the money, baby. I have figured it out. You just got to have a crap load of exhibitions. Hi, Potty D. I just came back from your exhibition. I think Steve is the best of all exhibits. I can feel the heart of it. I want to buy it now. You want to buy Steve's heart? No, I'm not selling that either. I'm, I'm cheap, damn it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I've moved up in the pottery making world because now we can play with parts. And I, oh my God, it actually automatically fits. Okay, that's, that's easy for me. Now what happens? Okay, that's just the, the height of it. Um, so yeah, we can actually add like spouts and everything to our stuff, which is exciting. Um, so I guess I'm going to make kind of like a genie lamp. Why not? It kind of already looks like one. Can I rotate this? Oh, I guess I can just rotate the whole thing. All right, I think we're going to have to go with that. That's looking pretty good. And, of course, if we need a spout to get the genie to come out. Yep, that's how I've seen all the genie lamps before. Oh, okay, there we go. That's that's the way genie lamps work. But, yes, I've got it now. So we just need to bring that over there. And, obviously, we need to make this perfectly centered. So that's looking pretty good. This is a really fat genie lamp, by the way. I mean... It's, it's, it's gonna work out, though. Okay, gotta say, uh, I like the patterns. I think that's pretty good. Now, should we color it? I don't know if we should color it or not. I think I got a bunch of new colors. I feel like just having white will actually look really cool, so... Can we... Okay, we can color underneath the, um, the actual pattern. So, there we go. Yeah, we're just gonna have a white teapot. Or genie lamp. I mean, same thing. I'm done. I'm happy with that. Let's complete that. Is it a genie lamp? Is it a teapot? I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the teapot now. It looks a little big to be a genie lamp. So we're going to call this one T, because anything fancy that I've seen lately has the shortest name possible, and uh, this is a fancy pot, so there we go. All right, let's do one final day. We're going to add one more booth. As you can see, I've earned a lot of money lately, and um, I added an, an absolute trash can. Um, it's got a lot of fire, as you can see. Amazingly, the mushroom, I mean, it's the lowest, but still... I think that means 94 people came to see it. So let's add tea to this. Hopefully, many new people will come. I'm going to put that sideways just like that. The handle's still weird to me, but I, I mean, 
We have it on there now. Can't change it now. And there's my newest installment. So, yes. Uh, we have Mushroom back because I had enough money to put it down. I built the trash can because why not? Uh, Koi Long, of course, has been the most popular. And Steve is a close second. Steve, you went, you, you went sideways again, buddy. What the hell's going on here? All right, so it's another holiday, and that means more people generally come. I'm going to drop the ticket price down because I want to see how big we can get this. And we are going to do everything. Oh, we can't do what? Wow. Why is web media so expensive? Why is TV show so expensive now? Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, well, we're going to do TV show again, I guess, in newspaper. And that's all we can afford, so god damn it, I really hope that was worth it. Um, we can't do renovations yet. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, let's see what happens with this one. Let me just make sure I drop the price down. Yeah, people were complaining that tickets are too expensive, so I want to see as, as many people as possible here. All right, here we go, baby. Please tell me you guys really want to see this new tea thing. Holy crap, that is flying up. All right, publicity works, which attracts more tourists to visit. Oh, it slowed down rapidly, though. Uh, so I've been kind of averaging about 200. So if we can get over that. Ooh, God. Do you guys not like the new teapot? There we go. Now we're boosting again. And bam. We just flew past our record. Holy crap. All right. I am going to earn so much freaking money. Okay, can we get 500? I'll be happy with 500. I mean, I'm happy already. I don't, I don't give a damn. There we go. 463. So how much did that cost me? I got 4,630. I paid way more than that in marketing once again, but now every day I'm gonna get more people. And what's our most popular unit right now? It looks like, once again, the Quay Long is still by far the most popular. The irony is the trash can that I've spent absolutely no time on is almost my <laughs> second most popular. People clearly don't like Steve. I mean, I guess they're not fans of Minecraft here. All right, guys, and on that, we're going to wrap up this very weird game of Master of Pottery. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Actually, before that, did anybody want to buy uh, the stupid mushroom? There we go. Okay, I'm just selling that. Get it out of here. There we go. I sold my mushroom to some idiot. Yes. But yeah, I got to say, it's a pretty fun game. And uh, the more you level up, the more crazy it gets, because now we can get into, like, stone glazing and everything. These things are extremely expensive, though. So I assume the further you go, the more complex it gets. And uh, yeah, if you're, if you're a fan of making pottery for whatever reason at all, this is a fun little game. And we're going to wrap it up here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Master of Pottery. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.